So as we saw in the last class, we had that example of, what was it, four feet, three inches or whatever. <laughs> I think it was four foot six inches times three feet, three inches or something. And when we multiplied that out, it didn't fit our conversion. Let's do it. Let's convert this all into inches. I'm going to have you do this to start off. Convert it into inches and multiply it out. Convert it into feet and multiply it out. And let's see what we get for our numbers. So if we go into all inches here, 4 times 12 is 48, plus 6 is 54 inches. 3 times 12 is 36, plus 3 is 39 inches. If I multiply that out, I get what? 2106 square inches. On the other side, I make this 4 and 6 twelfths feet, so 4.5 feet. This is 3 and 3 twelfths feet, so 3.25 feet. Which multiplies at what? 65? 14.65 feet squared. If you wanted to use 12 inches in a foot to convert that, it's not going to work. Let's start out with my 14.625 square feet, feet squared. If I want to convert that into square inches, I have to remember that feet squared is really feet times feet, isn't it? So if I'm doing this conversion, I put feet on bottom, inches on top, one foot is 12 inches. All I've done there is canceled out one of those feet, haven't I? What I have to use is I have to use that conversion twice. Now I've canceled out the other foot. And I'll notice inches times inches is inches squared, square inches. If I multiply that out, 14.625 times 12 times 12. I do get my 2106. So it does work out. So there's two ways to look at this. When I'm converting areas, because square inches and square feet, those are units of area. And you'll actually you'll hear the term sometimes used linear feet. That just means regular feet um, versus you know, square feet. When I'm using them for units of area, I've got to remember that my units go in two directions. One square foot is defined to be one foot by one foot. Well, a foot is 12 inches. That's 12 inches by 12 inches. If I find the area of that, 12 inches times 12 inches is 144 inches squared. So one square foot is equal to 144 square inches. Now, the biggest source of confusion when people do conversion with these is this. It is 7 feet squared. And I want to convert it into square inches. And I'll see at least one of you do this. They're going to take 7 squared to make 49. The squared is not operating on the number. The squared is operating on the units. Feet squared. That 2, that, that power of 2 does have nothing to do with the 7. It has it's defining the unit, the feet squared. Whatever operation has to happen to the sevens already happened. That power is not here. So it's not seven squared, it's just square feet. When I make the conversion, what that means is what is squared is the units. So the only thing I need to square is the conversion factor. Instead of putting one foot is 12 inches, I put one square foot is 12 squared, or 144 square inches. So square feet cancel out. 7 times 144, 1,008 square inches. That's over 1, which is 1,008 square inches. Bless you. So what if I have 
3,456 square inches. I want to convert it into square feet. So my conversion factor, the square inches, the conversion factor of square inches have to go on the bottom, square feet will be on top. One square foot is how many square inches? 144, 12 squared, 144. Remember, the only thing that is squared, not the number here, the only thing that is squared is the conversion factor over here. So the square inches cancel out. This is saying it's 34, 56 divided by 144, otherwise known as 24 square feet. How about if I have four square yards and I want to go into square feet? Well, recall that a square yard is one yard by one yard. How many feet are in a yard? Three. So that's three feet by three feet. What's the area of that square feet? Nine. Yeah, three times three is nine square feet. Nine square feet equals one square yard. So when I convert this four square yards into square feet, I'm not multiplying by three. It's nine square feet, one square yard. So 36 square feet. What do you think? What's different here? It's cubed. Now remember, cubic means three-dimensional. So a cubic foot is one foot by one foot by one foot. So that means it would be 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. 12 times 12 by 12 1,728 inches times inches times inches is cubic inches in one cubic foot. Note that 1728 is just our linear conversion, which is 12 inches in one foot, to the power of 3. 12 times 12 times 12. So to convert this, 3,456 inches cubed, put it over 1, is cubed on bottom, feet cubed on top, one cubic foot, 1,728 cubic inches. Cubic inches to cancel out, it's 3456 divided by 1728, which is 2. What do you think? Not terrible? What's that? So if I have... Five cubic feet. I'll give you a second in your notes here to tell me how many cubic inches that's going to come out to be. So in our conversion factor here, cubic feet go on bottom, cubic inches on top. One cubic foot is 1,728 cubic inches. Cubic feet cancel out. We're going to get What's that? 8640 cubic inches. 1728, that's because this is cubic inches. One cubic foot is 1728 cubic inches. It's 12 by 12 by 12. So 12 times 12 times 12 is 1728.
Does that make any sense? 86? Well, I had my five cubic feet, right? So I had to get rid of cubic feet, so I put cubic feet on bottom. Going into cubic inches, I put that on top. So one cubic foot is 1,728 cubic inches. So the cubic feet canceled out, so it's just 5 times 1728. The other way you could look at it is this. 5 cubic feet, well, cubic feet is foot times foot times foot, right? So to convert this, one foot is 12 inches. That only cancels out one of them. Another foot is 12 inches. That cancels out another one of the feet. One foot is 12 inches. That cancels out the third one. So it's 5 times 12 times 12 times 12. Well, 12 times 12 times 12 is just the 1728. So you can do it out this way if you prefer. It's just easier if you know that one cubic foot is 1728 cubic inches. And remember that 1728 is just 12 cubed. So when we're dealing with cubic inches, you, you take your conversion factor and you cube it. So let's say I'm looking at, oh, five cubic yards. And I want to go into cubic feet. Without drawing out the box here, how many feet are in a yard? Three. So if I want to know how many cubic feet are in a cubic yard, it's going to be 3 times 3 times 3, because it's cubed. I mean, it's in three dimensions. Or 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. So the cubic yards cancel out. 5 times 27 is 135 cubic feet in the 5 cubic yards. That is your 3 to the power of 3, or 3 times 3 times 3. Remember, 1 cubic yard is 1 yard by 1 yard by 1 yard. That would be 3 feet by 3 feet by 3 feet. What I use a lot is this conversion. Um, let's say I have 567 cubic feet going into cubic yards. I want you to see if you can make that work in your notes. So 567 cubic feet over 1. Cubic feet, we're going to cubic yards. Which one's a larger unit, yard or feet? Yards bigger, so that's 1. How many cubic feet are in a cubic yard? 27. 3 by 3 by 3, right? So the cubic feet cancel out. This is going to be 50, 567 divided by 27, which is 21. How many of you got 21 there? Any big questions on how to do this? What if I have... Four square rods in the square feet. Actually, I'll make it easy for you. We'll go square. Ah, screw it. We'll keep the square feet. So we need to put square rods on bottom, square feet on top. One square rod. Now, this is squared. So it's going to be how many feet are in a rod? 16 and a half. So it's 16 and a half times 16 and a half. Just squared which ends up being 272.25. You are correct. So yeah, we're going to multiply the 4. What do you get? 4 times the 272.25 is what? 1089 square feet. It's not so bad, right? Well, what if we have two hundred 
two square yards going into square inches. Try that one in your notes. So a yard is 36 inches. So one square yard is 36 squared, inches squared. 36 squared is 1,296. So one square yard is 1,296 square inches. So two square yards over one. Put the square yards on bottom. Square inches on top. One square yard, I'm going to have the 1,296 square inches. So square yards cancel out, we get 2,592 square inches. Good. What do you think? Not horrible? How do I do this? One yard is 36 inches, right? Hold on. One yard is 36 inches, right? So it's just that's what it is. The square yard is the 36 squared, 36 inches squared. Okay, let's do one more. So, this is what you did on the last one? Yeah. One yard is still 36 inches. So, a cubic yard is 36 cubed inches cubed. So, 36 to the power of 3 is going to get huge. 46, 656. 656. Cubic inches. Now we're pausing. Everybody see how I got that? Since this was cubic yards, yeah, I had to take my linear conversion in cubic. Or just 36 times 36 times 36. Because cubic yards means three-dimensional. So this is going to be two cubic yards over one. Yeah, the 46,656 is my... Cubic inches goes on top. So yes, cubic yards cancel. It's two times the forty-six thousand six fifty-six, otherwise known as ninety-three twelve. So the tough part is getting the conversion factor. But if we know the linear conversion factor, we know the area or volume factor, the square or the the cube factor, because we just have to do that same thing to the number. <clears throat> Let's say I have four cubic rods. That's why I go into cubic feet. Well, one rod is 16.5 feet. Right? One rod cubed is 16.5 cubed cubic feet. Forty-four ninety-two point one two five. Exactly, that'll be multiplied by four. Yeah, seventeen nine sixty-eight point five. Does that make any sense? So the key is, is whatever the power on the units is, we have to do that to our conversion factor to adjust it before we can use it to convert. So now, quick review of our metric system. We have meters. Meters, decimeters, centimeters, millimeters. Decameters, hectometers, and kilometers. When I'm converting, moving each spot on that chart is either multiplying or dividing by 10, right? So if I had... 0.27 meters, and I wanted to go to centimeters. Just to go from meters to centimeters, I'm going two spots to the right on the chart, so I move my decimal two spots to the right. 27 centimeters. Look familiar? 
So now what if it's 0.27, not meters, but meters squared to centimeters? Well, before we said moving each spot on the chart was multiplying or dividing by 10. With our standard units, we had to square those conversion factors. We do the same thing here. What is 10 squared? 100. When we multiply or divide by 100, it moves the decimal point two spots, two different spots, twice. So when we have squared here, the number of decimal places we have to move is double the number of spaces we move on the chart. So from meters to centimeters is still two spots on the chart. But each spot is two decimal places. So we move the decimal point four places. So one, two, add zeros, three and four. So 2,700 cubic cent or square centimeters. What if it were meters cubed to centimeters cubed? Yeah, because now each spot is 10 cubed, or 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. And when you multiply it by 1,000, it's three decimal places. So two spots on the chart, each of which is three decimal places, it's 2 times 3, or six decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 270,000. Yeah. It's two spots on the chart, right? But now each spot on the chart is 10 cubed, or, th or 1,000. So it's three places for every spot, on the, three decimal places for every position on the chart. But, well, basically, whatever, whatever number it is on the chart, whatever moves it is on the chart, it's times the power. If it's squared, you double it. If it's cubed, you triple it. So if you have 48,000... Cubic millimeters. Going into cubic centimeters. From millimeters to centimeters is how many spots on the chart? One to the left. But it's cubed, so we triple it, right? So we go three spots. So that's 48. If we have 520,000. Millimeters squared going to meters squared. From millimeters to meters is one, two, three spots on the chart. But we're not going to do three. We're going to go six because this is squared. So three times two is six decimal places. One, two, three, four, five, six. Point five two. Does that make sense? Cool. So I'm going to have you do some conversions here, right? <clears throat> Point zero zero seven one meters cubed. We're going to millimeters cubed. Um, Two hundred eighty centimeters squared in the millimeters squared. Fifty-eight thousand centimeters cubed in the meters cubed. So I want you to try each of those quick in your notes. So let's take a peek here. Point zero zero seven one meters cubed to millimeters cubed. From meters to millimeters. There's three spots to the right on the chart. How many spots are we going to move? Nine, because it's cubed, so three times three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's seven million one hundred thousand. Two hundred eighty centimeters squared to millimeters squared on the chart from centimeters to millimeters is one spot to the right. We're going to go 2 because it's squared. So that is 28,000 millimeters squared. <clears throat> 58,000 centimeters cubed to meters cubed. Centimeters to meters is two spots to the left on the chart. My decimal point is going to move times 3 because cubed. So 6 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 0 0.058. 
Questions? Okay, I'm gonna let you guys practice this a little bit. On those uh, packets I gave out, page 237, it's that next section, questions 25 through 42. And on page 265, 23 through 40. <clears throat> 